Welcome back to Makings of a Guide Dog. In this episode, I'll first be taking CNIB guide dog trainees cross-country skiing and then ice fishing, two of my favorite outdoor winter activities. I'm meeting up with Andrew on the frozen banks of the Rideau River. First up is CNIB guide dog trainee Sherman. He's a yellow Labrador, about 15 months old and weighs about 38 kilos. Sherman did very well last time with sledding. Can't wait to try Sherman with some cross-country skiing. This is a this is a great training exercise for this. Yeah, guy. he was, I promise he's never even seen skis before. Big shoes, yeah. big shoes, huh? So, uh, big yeah, shoes. I'll be behind you if you hear me shout. All right. Oh, he's interested. Yeah, he, he, he wants wagon. to know. Nah, no. <laughs> Sherman pulls Lawrence and he topples over. Didn't take long for Sherman to remind me that he's still a very young guide dog trainee. Crack your child. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew helps Lawrence up and he resumes skiing. Sherman steps in front of him and Lawrence falls again. Andrew hoists him up and he falls again. To be fair to Sherman, this fall was more the fault of an icy patch. It's good. The dog pulls Lawrence over. <laughs> oh boy, here we go again. He's, he's Are you sad? Fine. Are you sad I'm falling down? Huh? We finally get skiing along nicely and... Well, Sherman had other things on his mind. Sherman, Sherman. Whoa, 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 hang on. Sherman, come here, come here. We're good. Good, he'll get out your way, there he goes, well done. That was really good. Oh, no, 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 ah! <laughs> you can see that, what, there's no way he can guide you here because you've got a big wide expanse. Yeah. There's no, there's no building line for him to, to stick to. Yeah. There's no curbs to aim for, there's no sidewalk. Yeah. So this, and he's not in his harness, so he's no, there's no attempt to guide you whatsoever. No. Well, what you need is to get him in this environment yeah. so that he learns not to be sniffing where every dog is peed. Because <laughs> uh, that's what he's doing. So he's I know, I know, I know. So he's trying to get you right. I know. But he's confident with that, mate. Yeah, I've never yeah. seen this before. So yeah. for me, this is a new experience as it is for him. Cross-country skiing with Sherman clearly proves he's still at the very beginning of his guide dog training. Next up for cross-country skiing is Piper, a 17-month-old golden retriever who's nearing the end of his guide dog training. I'm hoping this time, things will go a little smoother. The protocol then is that you stay in the tracks, the dog's on your left. Yeah. You don't want the dog coming anywhere near the tracks in case he wrecks them. I don't want the dog pulling me, and I don't want the dog getting in front of me. Got if you. they're in front of me, they're gonna pull me. If there's yeah. always beside me, or a little, just a little bit behind, they don't pull, right? Because okay. they're following them. Yeah. I'll let you get yourself rigged out, mate. Sounds good, buddy. Okay, see you in a minute. Lawrence steps into cross-country skis. He pockets two small bells. So I know where everyone is. They embark on a wide, snowy trail. All right, I'm set, honey. Now, don't forget, he's always used to being on my left and suddenly he's on my right, so Yo, don't worry. He might, he if might. you think he's going, just let him go, because I've right. got him. Yeah, I can just open my hand and then the leash yeah, will pop perfect. off. Yeah, perfect. All right, we're good. Okay, how exciting is this? All right. Piper trots between That's Andrew and Lawrence. It's a little shake, get rid of some tension. <laughs> and he's good to go. Oh, yeah. This dog has not pulled me off balance once. No, he's comfortable here. Absolutely yeah. amazing. The men both hold a leash attached to the dog. He canters comfortably between them. Good fella. Lawrence skis and Andrew jogs alongside. Let's go find him. Come on, mate. Good fella. Good boy, Piper. What a good dog. Good boy. Wait. Good there we go. man. <laughs> oh, you can't I, beat that. I gotta give this guy a treat, man. <laughs> That's fantastic. Lawrence feeds Piper a treat. On. There we go. Good that's boy. One happy dog. Good boy. So what what was your reaction? I mean, I'm thinking that's great. What's what's your reaction? How did you feel? He this dog's fantastic. Excellent. I mean, he he's just the perfect heel. He lets yeah. me know he's there, but he yeah. never pulls. Like See? he even if he falls behind for a second to shake, he, he as soon as he feels the tension in the leash, he catches up. <laughs> and I, I love it, I love it. And I know, you know, if something happens, I break a pole, I break a stick, yeah. something happens, Dan, I need to get help. Yeah. I got the dog. Now Time for another of my favorite outdoor winter activities, ice fishing. I'm meeting up with Karen and Andrew on the frozen Ottawa River. Karen and Andrew brought two CNIB guide dog trainees. First, meet Vincent, an all black Labrador golden retriever mix. Vincent is the brother of Lewis, the dog I took snowshoeing in a previous episode. Vincent seems a little bulkier and a little more serious. Our other guest is Dunstan, another yellow lab, and the brother of Sherman, 
who I had the pleasure of sledding with. Dunstan seems as chill as Sherman, about the same height, but a little more lanky. So, hey, let's go do some fishing. Let's drill some holes, see these dogs around the auger, and, uh, and see how they like fishing. Good I got idea. my buddy Jason around here somewhere. Okay. Uh, Jason. Pull out. Oh, well, there, all right, all right, man. All right, let's do it. All right, let's, let's go. go. All right, you're ready to go here. All right, all right. Throttles on. Throttles on, all yeah. right. Okay, Power's you on. guys, this is gonna be a little noisy. Okay, so just stay back with the dogs for a bit and then just see what they think. Lawrence pulls the throttle on the auger and drills a hole in the ice. I wanted to expose the two guide dog trainees to the sound of a gas ice auger. It's important that a guide dog not be scared or anxious due to loud sounds. That's good. What do you think, you guys? No worries. No problem at all. Yeah, no, no is worries that right, at all. Eh? Yeah. They no were worries. Around. He was running for yeah. it. Is that right? Yeah, he just wants to see what's down in the hole. He's... Vincent, yeah. is there fish down there, Vincent? <laughs> Tell me. Turns out both Vincent and Dunstan are not bothered at all by loud sounds. Fishing is not catching. Fishing is waiting and hoping and passing time. But when you were telling me that you're going to have, you know, you lead a very active lifestyle and yeah. you're always busy. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't think you meant sort of sitting here for hours after hour, uh, just oh, with, the, with the fishing line, mate. That's, what were you saying? That you know. fishing is all about sitting around. <laughs> this is a very relaxing sort of day, if you ask me. I'm pleased how well Vincent and Dunstan did on ice, with so much to see on this flat, frozen landscape and with the noise of ice augers and snowmobiles, they both seemed quite at home. That's five great CNIB guide dog trainees I've had the pleasure of meeting in the snowy outdoors. They're each different in their own ways, but they all seem like they'll make great CNIB guide dogs. That's great, yeah. you guys. Thanks so much for uh, letting welcome. me do this test with the dogs and uh, to show this experience to them because it's important to me and, hmm. you know, I think it's important to a lot of people that spend time on the ice. You can look around here and you can see it's quite a popular activity. You're not kidding. And there's cities like this all up and down the Otto River of just yeah. ice huts and ice anglers and, yeah. you know, and they bring their dogs and their families and yeah. it's it's something to do well, in the winter. Yeah, absolutely, cool, yeah. Cool. yeah. Something new to us and new to the dogs. Very so much so. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Jason. I appreciate it. Good effort. Nice to meet you. Thanks for your time. Yeah. Okay, bye. Cool. Fantastic. Okay, well, safe journeys home. Okay, thank you. See you, boys. <laughs> this is the end of our outdoor winter adventures. Catch us on the next episode of Makings of a Guide Dog when I get the chance to introduce some guide dog trainees to two of my favorite spring activities, hiking and canoeing. CNIB Foundation, CNIB Guide Dogs.